Hello, Assalamu alaikum students. How are you all? I hope all is well at your side. So students, today I'm going to teach you one more element of henna and that is pisle. We use it for uh, borders or also we use it as a main motif in the mehndi or henna designs. So first we'll learn how you can make it and then we'll apply it or create different motifs. For pre-slay, what you need to do, first draw reference horizontal line. Okay, this is for just reference. And then draw one big curved line like this. Is it semi-circle, half-circle? And then draw another small curve like this. And then just connect it with the circle or dot. And then just simply join them with the another curve straight line like this. So it is also called wagon or brangel design or brangel like look. Now I'm creating again this piece of look. And if you can see it seems like alphabet S if you can see. So you can also try like this as well so just first try with the curves and then try with the alphabet s okay this is the one more variation now i'm going to show you one more variation with the vertical line simply again one simple curve or then again small curve on the bottom and it looks like alphabet s now just join both curves with another curve line. Now let's try once again and draw simple S and then just simply join both together with the another curve line like this. You have to do multiple time practice of this piece lay and uh, it is a little difficult but if you practice you can do it. Now again I am just going to show you another direction of this piece lay or brangel like design and just simply draw one reference line and draw in a, another direction like downward S. Okay you can also redo the lines. Now again let's draw once again one simple curve then another curve and then just simply join okay now again we'll draw more variations and now with the diagonal line just simply draw s and then connect them So these are the different variations of piece lay. You have to practice in all the directions, horizontal, vertical, upward and diagonal position. You can also decorate or put some motifs or element inside the piece lay like this, like curved lines, horizontal, vertical lines or also you can fill it, use simple humps as well. So it's all up to you how you want to decorate your motif. So students now after drawing B slay element with the alphabet S and C I'm moving forward towards the another element and that is a spiral. For a spiral what you need to do just simply put one dot and then just simply move your hand in round direction around that dot. Now let's draw one more time with different variation and different spacing just simply put dot and then just move your hand in round direction you can also create a spiral with this variation draw one circle and then draw different lines in it you can start with the dot as well and also with the circle as well see again i'm showing you draw one circle and then continue curve line in it you can use dotting technique for the circle just simply put random dots connect all dots together and continue curve line like this 
okay and also you can draw with the dot put dot and then continue curve lines like this so there are two ways you can draw spiral now students i'm going to show you one motif with spiral and piece lay as you can see i have drawn spiral and now i'm just drawing piece lay simply and uh, just again adding here humps as we have done it earlier now again adding some line inside the piece lay and decorating it more with the vertical lines now again reflecting piece lay and drawing the same motive in a reflected direction now again here i'm drawing spiral and then just adding humps in it so in this way you can create different motives different beautiful henna creation with the help of elements which up till we have learned and the whole mehndi whole henna is all about the basic elements which we are learning so you can create your own motif like this see here i'm adding some vines now just decorating it with the hums and dots hums and just covering it up with the hum now again here i'm adding one variation of vines which i taught you in the last lesson then one again half piece lay and then just simply decorating it with the lines hums and curve so students the motif is almost complete i just needed to show you how you can join the spiral and piece lay hums lines together so students i hope you enjoyed today's class and uh, i hope you practice and show it to me Good